Hello and welcome to the most important Vampire Survivors run I ever made so far. Trouser 5487 Golden Eggs is now my main character. I'll explain everything to you. You can look at the stats, pause the video if you like. The most important thing is I do have more than 90% cooldown reduction without the empty tome with that many eggs. But people have tens of thousands of eggs. Today we'll reach uh, the point where we make 10 million gold which is the maximum you can have in one run and uh, i'll explain why this video exists i'll explain the bill explain everything first of all well i have it up all the time for now <laughs> it's gonna slow down this is normal speed for now just for a moment because i want to show you how fast i run i run ridiculously fast and this is nothing in comparison what we're gonna see in the future in future runs okay look how fast i run and i run faster than this there's a cap i don't know all the caps i know one uh duplicator plus 10 i'm at like plus 27 or something okay so we're gonna go double speed because you voted for that a long time ago so where do i start I really wanted to find my main character. I explained that before. Smith was a stepping stone. Smith had done a very good job. We'll look at Smith at the end of the video. When Trouser came out, read about it, it was a no-brainer. The main reason, there's two reasons, well, maybe more than two. <laughs> the uh, gold fever is 50% longer and you get 50% more of anything. If you get small coins or bags or whatever, you get 50% more extension on your gold fever with this character. Every time you level up, you get 1% greed. I thought to myself, this could be a self-sustaining, ridiculous character, which it is. By the way, this didn't even take me that long to do, to reach this level, which is not amazing. I've seen people with tens and tens and tens of thousands of eggs I'm at what less than six thousand okay and we're gonna make one run with 10 million gold today not in half an hour for now okay so okay so this character for me yeah self-sustaining he makes himself stronger by farming so he's both the farming character and the main character with ridiculous amounts of eggs of course, with the normal game, without eggs, if I ever do the divorce, I don't know which character I would use, and I have to wait for the last, uh, I don't know how many of days there are left for them to complete the roadmap. But once the roadmap is complete, I'll know which character is best for which map regarding uh, the divorce. But when it comes to having fun with eggs, because this is really just for fun, because this is completely ridiculous. By the way, there's no lag for now. There's going to be lag after the Reaper show up on this map. Of course, uh, for those who don't know, this is stage five. So after the Reaper shows up, if you can stay alive, there's more mobs, but you don't level up anymore. Did you see me go through the walls? Yes, I run so fast that I can go through the walls. 331% <laughs> move speed. We're gonna reach 1000% green today. I'm using the new card, Wicked Season. So it takes turn at giving you double growth on. I already explained that in the last video I made in this uh, series. What is it? Growth, luck, uh, the mask, which is money and curse. Okay, very important. That's the first card I use. I did try using Disco of gold right away, but it doesn't work as well, in my view. Ferrera G, which is not evolved yet, this is the big balls that you see, if you're really new to the game, okay, uh, is experimental and I was more or less satisfied with it. This replaces Gorgeous Moon. Why Gorgeous Moon? Because when I started, I was weak and I needed. Uh, the pentagram to fight the reapers that you see on this map look how i destroy it took well of course it's double speed but i mean i almost one shot those but imagine imagine if i had 100 000 eggs 
That's what I want to do with this series. I want to exaggerate. I'm going to see what's going on as a rule map gets unveiled and what strategy you want to use for um, Leader Wars. But I'm so excited to show you this run. I've been trying for a while and I made my character stronger and stronger. And I felt like um, I'm going to do it in less than an hour and a half. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It's going to be jump cuts. Of course, you see the length of the video. And I'll show you the most gold fever I've ever got. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I almost made a short video out of it, but uh, well, you'll see later. So here I've evolved Ferragi. Ferragi. Sorry for the pronunciation, but look how it spins. By the way, if you have uh, if you have epilepsy, you don't feel good, just hit like and close the video, or just pause first, hit like, close the video. I don't know much about epilepsy, but this flashing stuff bothers even myself uh, this uh, Fibberagi spins uh, like crazy and uh, I mean just things are completely insane so what is this build okay it's experimental I came up with it myself but I don't want to sound like uh, oh yeah I invented this it's probably similar to what other people use because the game works a certain way there's only one thing that is from an old video that I saw a while ago, I don't remember when or who, and at the 21 minute mark, I'll explain. But the rest, I came up with it by trial and error, what I would do at the end of the run, I would check who has the most DPS, you know, and uh, there's uh, also instinct, what felt right. Now, uh, I don't know if I showed it or not, but this position right here, just below the organ, between the um, pillars is the best spot. I tried if you go higher, maybe I'll show it later or I already showed it, it's too late because I was distracted talking. There is a carpet, red carpet, doing a cross. I felt like I was sort of in the middle and all the mods would come to me, I make less. Here is the best spot because there's a bunch of, uh, there you go with words, candeliers, you know the things that drop money. Because Vicious Hunger, which is the evolution of the cat, Gary Amari, will pick up little bag of golds for you, little bags of gold for you, to continue gold fever and activate gold fever. This is an AFK run. By the way, I'm doing nothing right now. Maybe I'm in the bathroom or doing something else. I'm waiting for 11 minutes. Why 11 minutes? Because of... By the way, I'm going to probably get under evolution here. Let's check it out. Yeah, uh, this is Labora. Labora did very poorly in this one. I'm not sure why. Is it because I kill mouse too fast? I know Ferraraji uh, goes very far in terms of range. So maybe I kill mouse so far that they don't have time to reach Labora. That would render Labora useless. That's why this is experimental. But I want to share it with you. This is for people who are trying to find a way to um, make a build that makes sense. Now I'm sure if you look on YouTube or if you look on Discord, there's all sort of better builds than this, but I wanted to come up with my own stuff. You know how I am. I like experimenting and playing the game on my own. I don't want everything given to me, or oh, do this, 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 that, and that. There are exceptions. You'll see one in Leaf Blow Revolution, which by the way was running while this is running uh, this run that you see right now but we reach 11 minutes we're about to hit um, disco of gold and i had a lucky golden clover that's why i had a gold fever going on but yeah for leaf blow revolution i'm gonna have to really follow the guide by the book because it's too painful to farm but in this case you experiment you play around with stuff so what do we have? We have the Laurel, okay? I cannot evolve it because now the Crimson Shroud, which is the evolved version of the Laurel, kills the Reaper. You don't want to kill the Reaper, you want to stay alive. So you need 90% cooldown. Look, I tried an 86% cooldown reduction. And I was staying alive for a while, but once in a while the, the Reaper will kill me. 90% cooldown reduction is what you need with a maxed out normal laurel and it will uh, keep 
renewing, you will be completely invincible forever. For all I know. I had a lot of Reapers on me at the end. It lagged. Not that much. Now, I wish you could turn off VFX. I know you can do it through modding. But I wish there was a button in the menu. You click and there's no VFX. Logic dictates that I can predict that it might add it. Okay. I saw somebody, I don't know. I, I don't watch too many YouTube videos because I want to... I don't want to be spoiled, you know, I want to make my own stuff, but I still look a little bit. So somebody uh, with the turned off VFX and it's so fast because the lag will hit me when the Reapers appear. I'm going to show it to you in real time at the 30 minute mark. 21 minute is slowly approaching. We'll talk about that. So I talk about the Laurel. Vicious Hunger, as I said, picks up the bags, a little bag of money, which keeps go fever repeating. OK, that's all good. Ferragi is experimental. Manager, I like it. I mean, the damage is always pretty good. Okay, I look at DPS. And Labora was disappointing, as I said. Maybe because of Ferragi. So there's something I'm skipping, isn't it? That's the Death Spiral. We'll talk about it at 21 minutes. So we got Torona's box and Curse. Uh, the, the, the Skull. Skull of Maniac. There you go. To max out. Uh, the curse as much as possible I took the uh, what is it called metallo right whatever that increases curse and the golden ring for more curse even well it's not really curse but it's more mobs you know uh, the silver ring makes me stronger the ragishu well it's free anyways but it was useful for Feraji I pick it up no matter what and of course a crown for more XP and I used to use uh, Gorgeous Moon. And in fact Gorgeous Moon did a better job than uh, Labora today. I'll have to think about it. As I said this is going to change. Okay. Now let's think about what else I wanted to see because there was other things. Why don't we talk about Arcana? 21 minutes, I'm going to show you a car that comes from YouTube, though. That's not from me. It's the only thing I'm using that I uh, found out that I did not come up with through experimentation. By the way, we're approaching 2 million gold in less than 20 minutes, if you look on the top right. Um, right now, I'm using the Wicked Seasons. Yes. How about Gemini? Well, Gemini makes the game lag so much. They talk about counterparts, right? So you have this cat that's being added to the vicious hunger, which is the eye that picks up stuff. And Ferragi also benefits from Gemini. But the lag is unbearable. How about the idea of, and I've seen that on Discord, people using less weapons. But I didn't want to look too much. If I look too much, I'll find a build. I don't want to find a build. <laughs> but I would like to maybe reduce... That's, that would be a test for the future. Reduce the amount of weapon I'm using. So Laurel... Vicious Hunger is a must because it picks up stuff for me. I want AFK this. I want to AFK this, okay? For now, at least, until I can reach 10 million gold in less than 30 minutes. Or even less than that, by the way, I'm pointing to... 893% greed and will reach above 1000%. I just lost my train of thought. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, removing weapons. The reason why I do that is I'm limit break. I could concentrate my limit break, for instance, on. Oh, here's. I'll come back to this. This is it. Enable critical hits for listed weapons, double overall critical damage. I tried the knives. I tried the cross and they did horrible but for the death spiral it makes insane damage and I found that somewhere on YouTube that's the only thing that I use and I found the rest is trial and error okay so uh, I encourage you to try that it works really well but I might change as I said reduce weapon with Gemini okay fear G with uh, 
Vicious Hunger, Laurel, and you have Limit Break. Everything is concentrated on these two weapons, nothing else. Would that work better? I don't know. I will have to try it with Gemini. Because the lag, I don't worry too much about it. Because that cat, when I did Gemini, the counterpart thing, okay? And I, we're going to look at the card at the end of the video because I'm going to spend that money. I'll speed it up. You got to see me spending that money. I'll use an auto clicker for that. Uh, the cat did a lot of damage. The extra cat that they give you from Gemini did so much damage. It was the most damage of all weapons that I had. But if I don't have all these messed up things, I'm pretty sure Manager creates a lot of lag. I'm not so sure about uh, Death Spiral. Anyways, I will have to try it out to see how the lag is. But eventually, lag wouldn't matter all that much because lag really starts at 30 minute mark. Of course, I don't have. Again, how many eggs do I have? 6,000? Less than that? So when I have 10, 20, 30,000, 100,000 eggs, it's probably going to lag no matter what. But at these levels, I'll just walk and just kill two, three mobs and make tons of money. That's the kind of insane stuff I want to show you. And this is a prelude to that. That's why I'm so excited to show that to you. By the way, uh, 680,000, 700,000. I'm going to show you in a little clip later on my record of all time for a single gold fever. I almost made a short video out of it. So it might give you an idea of how much I had. Maybe. Alright. So 26 minutes. 4 more minutes of normal. Now at 28 minutes, the mobs are all more tanky. I used to have trouble with them. In the sense, it would just interrupt my gold fever. But now I start to really make absolutely ridiculous DPS enough to, even with those tankier mobs, do perfectly fine. You will notice also that I'm using Attract Orb. That's because of Labora. If I get rid of Labora because of Feroragi, and by the way, I have no clue what to replace it with, will I get rid of Attract Orb? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. By the way, uh, thank you for watching the Vampire Survivors series. Why not? Since you are a very shy community, don't be shy to write comments. Please let me know what you think. What do you think of this? This character is amazing, and uh, yeah, he's my permanent character. I don't care which other character they add. That 50% more gold fever does it for me. I don't need to search no more. And uh, I'm willing to spend more time on this. I'll explain certain things about the future of this series in the conclusion when we conclude the video. So a minute and a half left with double speed, of course, before we reach the Reaper, and maybe ten minutes, uh, not ten minutes, so ten seconds before we're gonna go back to normal speed, and I'll show you the type of lag gives you. I'll also show you where we are at sixty minutes. Because there's a slowdown, uh, it's not necessarily, it could have to do with lag, but also has to do with the type of mod that they give you. I won't be able to make these amounts of 400,000, 5, 6, 700,000, no more. In fact, I'll prove it to you right now, I got 400 and something thousand, right? 15 seconds left. And uh, 10 seconds left, we're back to normal speed. As soon as I hit 30 minutes, this is going to collapse 500,000, forget about it. We'll do two gold fevers post, see how much it lags. This is real time, it lags for a moment, then the reapers appear. Then, yeah, I'm not going to do 540,000. So how much do I make from a gold fever? First of all, let's see how much time it takes me to get one. I'm not moving right now, this is AFK, see, I got one. 1,054% greed, nice. 574% luck, right? Curve 767. I remember when I made a video all proud of having 130% curse, which was the highest you could at the time. Yeah, big difference today. Well, of course, those eggs are such a fun mechanic. Uh, 
But once again, if they want to implement eggs and people to have fun experimenting with them, they should give us the option of removing the VFX. So let's see how much I make, okay? And uh, I got uh, more than 5 million. So that means if I do two runs, I get 10 million an hour. Not bad. Now, if I let it run, let's say at this time, I go eat, I don't know, I watch a movie or do other things. Of course, it's going to be a slowdown where I can AFK farm money uh, instead of being semi-active because it doesn't take me long as you saw to get set up, but I still have to take certain action at 11 minutes, 21 minutes, etc. So it requires some management if I want to make the full 10 million gold per hour. Well, that's right now because when I get 10 million, which is the maximum amount you can have in pocket, that's 1,000 eggs, okay? So we're gonna get 1,000 eggs today. So that's my, uh, is that my second favorite problem? Just showing it to you, you know, 170,000. It's not always as good as this. Sometimes it's less, um, but it's pretty decent, okay? So I calculated that I would probably make it below 90 minutes unless lag really destroys my game. No, I think that was my first gold fever, wasn't it? Because we're still here and this is the second gold fever, we're not going to look at the whole thing. I just wanted to show how long it took for me to get a new gold fever, which doesn't take all that long, but you need a fair amount of luck because you need those gold bags not just little coins and luck influences this if i said anything that's wrong by the way you can write the comments and i'll issue a correction of course oh now we're at double speed because we were at normal speed sorry for the confusion so we're double speed and i'm showing that this one is not as much so it varies a lot it's really luck based you know if you're lucky or unlucky and let's see how much it takes but that's double speed. See, there's a little bit of delay here. Had I been a bit more lucky, then I would have gotten it. So we're gonna now do a jump cut, I believe, in seconds. Yes, this is it. The highest I ever got. 940, 950,000. Come on, 960. I wanted 1 million. 972,000. Oh, I didn't get 1 million. Okay, so that's one hour. One hour mark. Seven million eight 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 thousand something like that after one hour. So we're doing fine. I calculated that I should make it within nine minutes, which is my goal for now. Here I'm pointing to the amount I have, just so you can see it better because everything is flashing and really, really ugly. Oh, also, and okay, I'll talk about other things. Look, we made it 999, you know, 9999 very soon. There you go, we made it. I can't stop now. There's no point in going further because uh, you, you cannot have more than uh, 99, like 10 million minus one. Let's call it that. So I made it. Now I'm going to quit, okay? And I'm going to multiply the footage by four. I'm about to do it here here right there okay think about it this is four times longer uh, four times shorter than it was so you would think the game crash last time this happened somebody told me you had to do with ram please let me know in the comments does it have to do with memory so look at no no it was santa water that was bad never mind but furoraji 278k DPS is not that high compared to the rest. Death Spiral is just killing it, of course. Uh, no, Lab Rod did fine. Sorry, I was mistaken, but that's fine. Look, that's the amount I have now because I made 10 million. And now we're going to spend it. Then we'll look at the character. We'll look also at that Gemini card. So let's take a look at that card. Not this one. Instead weapons come with a counterpart. We got Fury of course, and the Vicious Hunger. That's what I'm talking about. With the Laurel, only three weapons, and I focus all my limit break on 
those three weapons. That could be interesting, I'll try it out and we'll see how it goes. And this is normal speed for a few seconds and we'll, we'll accelerate the footage and using an auto clicker. And listen to this sound. This is the sound of power. Listen to that. I'm getting more and more powerful with each click. And once we're done, we're gonna look at the character where it's at right now. And then we'll conclude this important video. Best run I ever did so far. Look at that. We're almost done spending 10 million gold. This is sped up, but still. I don't mind sitting there with the auto clicker and getting it. 10 clicks per second, by the way. Alright, I can get out of here. And let's take a look at the character. You can pause if you like. So now I have 6492 eggs. Imagine when I have 65,000 eggs. How crazy it's going to be. Plus 33 amount. Like the limit is like 10 or something. 35 revivals. I mean, totally immortal. So much fun. Look at Smith. Great character. Fantastic stepping stone, but now Trouser is my main. And I love that uh, you have this uh, candy box, which lets you choose which starting weapon you're going to use. These are the secrets. I got them all. So that was the run for you. I really wanted to show that to you, to show how much progress I'm making. And this opens up ideas for all sorts of videos. I know that normally my runs, normal runs, are not that successful compared to guys. By the way, last video was doing super good. Thank you so much for your support. So if you see a change in the title, go check my um, pinned comment, okay? But we'll see how this goes. I'm taking a new direction with this series as the game is changing. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.